hi everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be unboxing a 50 pound thread up rescue box that i purchased on i think they were having like a black friday sale um i got like 30 percent off so yeah, if that's something you want to watch, then please stick around. Okay, I've purchased from ThreadUp before. I've purchased multiple of their shoe boxes. Um, I did a designer revive the runway box before too. Um, I will link some of those videos or playlist up in the corner for you if you're interested to kind of see um, some of the items that I've gotten before, but I've never ordered in this quantity before. Um, so this is 50 pounds. Um, originally they are priced, they kind of always, the prices always change a little bit, um, but the day that I purchased it was $140 for 50 pounds. There was a 30% off coupon. So that with taxes shipping it brought it to like just about 117 dollars which then breaks down to about two dollars 35 cents per pound so a little bit more expensive than the goodwill bins prices um but the nice thing is is that it does come to you unfortunately you don't get to pick what you get so i just figured we would unbox it together and see if it was any good um i totally forgot to see where it was from okay it makes sense it's from the phoenix one i live in tucson which is phoenix is two hours uh just less of two hours north than us north from us so it makes sense that it came from phoenix okay let's dive in did i need any inventory no not whatsoever i'm actually going into like a no thrifting december which started pretty much the week of Thanksgiving as well. So I think Black Friday was the last day that I actually thrifted. So I'm trying to go throughout all of December not thrifting and listing everything that I have. And so what I'm planning to do with this is kind of go through, see what stuff I feel like is worth listing for me, and then other items I will take to buy still trade stores or even redonate if that's the case. But without further ado, we're jumping in. All right, starting off the top, we have Gap 100% linen button up top. It's actually really cute. This is perfect for summer. Um, this is a size small. Gap does have little style tags in it that gives you the style name and number and the year. This is from summer 2018, which, um, you know, it's coming up on six ish years, but you know, it looks really great and. How do I want to do this? This room's an absolute fucking disaster. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to decide where I want to throw things. I think what I will do is I'll start a pile for buy, sell, trade stores, and then items that I know that I want to relist, and then I'll kind of revisit that at the end. So this is probably going to go to a buy, sell, trade store. Yep, another, the Tog Shop. Seems like a more mature brand, size 16 cute little floral print not something that I want to list so that will be a buy sell trade what do we have here I feel like this is this feels very H&M-y maybe gapish it's not saying but it is a pair of skinny jeans they're a size 26 they're the super skinny coupe ultra low waist. Oh, this is from Ann Denim, which is H&M. That is not something that I want to list, but they are low rise, which unfortunately low rise is back in style. What is this? This doesn't look like anything that I want to list. This is a turtleneck from Jones, New York, size extra large. So it is just a basic cream turtleneck but I mean really nice through the season we have New York and company extra small funny enough I actually just purchased um some items from New York and company I haven't purchased anything from them in forever but they were having such a great sale and had some really cute items so I was like why not um but this is just a basic little red sweater kind of dole in like sleeves Again, not something that I want to list. Hopefully something will come out of this that I actually want to list. 
Um, another H&M piece. It's kind of this olive green cropped sweater. I'm sure Plato's Closet would absolutely love that. So the buy sell trade stores that I have in town are Buffalo Exchange, Plato's Closet, um, Savers I don't ever go to because it's like way on the other side of town and they don't really give you much of anything. And we used to have Uptown Cheap Cheapskate, but they closed our location because the area that it was located was going to get a whole new renovation, like oh, just everything was getting demolished and then rebuilt. And they're like, oh, we're going to find another location. A year and a half later, they have not found another location or reopened. So we have supplies, just this like basic little cart, you know, little short. Even the size tag is cut out. Let's see. Yeah, again, nothing I want for these. Another pair of supplies, so probably the same same person, but this one kind of has like a camo, pixelated camo print on it. And again, the size is cut out or else I would have just measured from that. Not something I want. Okay, nothing is looking promising. This is okay, but I don't think I, I want to list this. Is, this is Tea by Tahari, so this is kind of the lower diffusion line, but it is this really cute like little pencil, um, navy pencil skirt with this kind of fun little elastic panel in the back so it adds for functionality and design so that's really cute this is a size i don't know why are people oh size two okay at least it has the size on it so that is a maybe so i'll put that over there for right now what is this cuddle duds this is something that you can purchase at like Costco or Sam's Club, I believe it's, it's just base layer stuff. They're actually, it's really nice, um, inexpensive base layer, but not something that I want to resell. So this is a size, uh, small. I have a little rib tank. This is from Target. This is just Mossimo, but this is like a square striped tank, size medium. Ooh, we got some houndstooth. I do love some houndstooth. Forever 21. Again, not something that I want to sell, but this is a size, size large little mini skirt with the mini little vent on the front. It's not looking good, y'all. I know we're just a little bit into it, but it's not looking good. Bobby Brooks, size extra large. This is a... A little mock neck, ribbed mock neck. Actually, I think I might keep this. I mean, I don't know who Bobby, uh, I'm about to say Bobby Brown. I know who Bobby Brown is. I don't know who Bobby Brooks is, but that's super cute and it would fit me. So I'm going to keep a pile for me. We got some jegging looking stuff. Okay, Lane Bryant, we could get behind that. This is kind of this like faux denim looking legging it is lane bryant size g8 i don't know what that is but a larger plus size which is perfect and these are actually like really cool looking leggings so i will list that myself um what is this live life integrity earth hmm. i don't think i've seen that before if i have i haven't picked it up but these are size medium like little cargo joggers that's really cute okay it's kind of this like steel blue gray and i'm i'm not i'm not seeing any like obvious imperfections over anything but i will double check before i list anything but i think i might look these up to see what they're worth they might be worth listing for me okay we got a camo top universal threads 3x this I think will do actually really well at a buy sell trade store. Just a basic camo top, good size. Got some more striped linen. What is this? Okay, this is a new approach, which I believe is sold at like JCPenney's. Is that what it's sold at? Um, just kind of these paper waste or paper bag waste. Uh, linen looking striped pants 
in a size small that I actually wanted. It's a linen blend. It's 55% linen and 45% cotton. Don't think I want to resell those though. So my resale pile is very, very small compared to my I'm getting rid of this pile. All right, we have dress barn, a little like crochet open front cardigan. The pattern's really pretty. Like I like those colors, but not something I would want to sell. Come on, we're hoping for like some Lululemon or some mother or some designer stuff. What do I get? New with tags H&M. <laughs> so I have new with tags H&M. What are these? Oh, this is actually really cute. It's like a little sweatshirt skirt. That's actually really, really cute. I just bought one of these for myself at Goodwill. Um, I don't even, couldn't even remember what the brand was, but I just thought it was so cute. It's like a different, more dressed up way to wear sweatpants. I'm currently wearing sweatpants that don't match my shirt, but you know, you're in sweatshirt, sweatpant era of, of the year. And sometimes you just want to, you want to jazz it up a bit. So we have that, um, and it's a size small. I will consider listing that myself. What do we have here? A super duper basic camisole gap, say small navy little basic top. That will go off to a buy sell trade store. What is this? A floral little top. Oh, God, I hate Shein. All right, Shein. My buy sell trade stores love Shein, so maybe they'll love that. I know I don't. All caught. The essential size t size small. The essential size small. All caught. I've never heard of this brand before. But look how teeny tiny that little striped top is. Huh. Have you ever heard of this brand before? I'll show you the tag one more time. Alcott. Let me know down below. I will put this in my pile to look up. This, this, this feels chicozy. Feels and looks chicozy. Let's see. It kind of like feels like that traveler stuff that they have. Can I find a tag? Can, what is this? <laughs> okay, not Chico's. By JJ? Have we, heard, have we seen this tag before? By JJ? It is a interesting top. When I say interesting, not my style whatsoever. But it does kind of have that Chico's like traveler's feel where it doesn't wrinkle whatsoever. Um, so not something I'm looking to resell myself unless it's like buku money, but I will put it in my pile to research just to double check. What do we have here? Daisy Fuentes. Where is, is Daisy Fuentes sold at Kmart? I can't remember. Daisy Fuentes, size medium, kind of this blouse floral print blouse not my style you know one thing that is lacking in tucson is so we have buffalo exchange which is kind of more i say more geared towards like vintage modern day style stuff athletic wear plato's um more modern day current things but kind of like on a lower scale end we don't have like a women's clothing store. So up che Uptown Cheapskate used to take that place where they would take a whole wide array of styles and brands and sizes and things like that. But we don't have like a style encore. We don't have a clothes mentor, anything that's like more career women's clothing opposed to teenager clothing. So that kind of sucks, but I feel like that's what Tucson needs. All right, so we have an old Navy classic just kind of tank top that is definitely something i would wear but not in my size so hopefully plato's closet will love it can you just hear the disgust in my my breath Ugh. express size small which there's nothing wrong with express it's just not something i'm looking for but this is actually really cute little lace-up sweater do i want to list that no i don't i don't want to list that all right, we have a very vibrant yellow 
uh, cardigan. This is Gap Factory. You can tell it's the factory because the three little dots. A lot of the factory stores will have like little dots or squares or something underneath it to show that it's factory. This is Gap. Really cute like color though. Like for spring. All right, we're about a fourth of the way through and we haven't found a winner yet. All right, we have another Old Navy striped tank, size medium. This one's really cute for like spring. Has that little lace detail, the, the Henley buttons. That's cute, but not enough for me to keep it. What is this? This feels kind of promising. Not really, but this is Zara Basic. It's actually really cute. I probably would resell this myself. So it's just this striped little crop top with like the jawstring cords with a button back. That's actually really cute. I will pick up Zara pieces like if they are um, unique pieces. Usually the basic stuff I don't pick up, but I don't know. We're, we're kind of, we kind of need some items to to the list so I'll put that in my pile what do we got a chunky okay chunky knit little cardigan new with tags that's nice really cute kind of that like coastal grandma look this retailed for $50 so we got some sort of a winner here so we'll put that in our pile to list What is this? Okay, another Gap Factory. Again, those dots, size medium. This is just like a little crew neck sweater. Perfect, like little basic fall winter sweater. Or this is gray. Kind of a gray cream. It does have a little bit of a pool right there. What is this? Something. It's a turtleneck. Black turtleneck. White stag size extra large 16 18 do I just kept am I just gonna keep the white the, the black turtlenecks probably put that in my pile of stuff to wear what is this Ooh, American Eagle okay this actually is something I would pick up it's like a little flannel it's their newer American Eagle tag size small kind of a little plaid cropped flannel that's really cute See, I'll put that in my pile for now. Ooh, we got some new attack shorts. What are these? La Layla? What are these? I don't know. I don't know what that brand is. It's a cute little uh, pink denim mini skirt. Size large. That's a very, very small large. I'll have to look up this brand to see if it's worth anything. If not, It'll be sent off to the buy sell trade store. What is this? Scout? Has anybody heard of that before? Ugh. Never mind. That's the style. Scout. This the brand is Delia's. R.I.P. Delia's. Who remembers that store? Um, this is a size 13, 14. I am not interested in selling these, but this is like a relic. So that will go off to be resold somewhere else. We have Worthington, which is a JC Penney's brand. This is just a black pencil skirt. So like I'm saying, Buffalo Exchange, Plato's Closet would definitely not take this, but like a clothes mentor or style encore will because they're a little bit more um, older women. I don't want to say older women. I want to say not teens or early 20s this is more like women in their careers who want a good deal so i highly doubt that plato's closet will take that but we're gonna throw them in anyways then we have alea leah this is a boutique brand kind of this like blown up chevron southwestern print blouse not something that i'm super interested in if any of you are interested in any of these items, let me know um, and we can do some sort of deal. So this is New York and Company, kind of this sequin little camisole, size small. That's pretty cute for the holidays. We're still not seeing anything wonderful. Um, we have Metaphor, 
which I think is another JC Penney's brand, um, but it is new with tags, size, uh, priced at $34. This is extra small, kind of this like two-tone print high-low blouse, kind of cute with that like little detail right there. Not something I want to sell. What is this? Ooh, this is cute. It's just Target, but it's cute. Universal thread, size large, kind of that like chambray look with the ruffle sleeves or ruffle little peplum on the long sleeve. That actually I would consider selling myself. I do like to say that I have a lot of different styles and price ranges in my own Poshmark closet, which will be linked down below. So that I like to sell anything that's super cute. And I think that's super cute. Um, this is divided by H&M, size large, kind of this very light blue little sweater. What's What is nice is that these, like, we're getting some sweaters. So I think buy, sell, trade stores would be inclined to um, buy them. <laughs> All right, we have a jacket. Let's see. Let's see, is this worth anything? Westbound. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Westbound? So small. Ugh, it kind of smells smoky. Ugh, it kind of, it smells smoky. Oh, which is not good for the rest of my items. It's kind of a cool jacket though. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this down here so it doesn't further intermix with the items, okay? So the item that was right below it doesn't smell smoky, which is nice. Um, all right, this is American Original Rewash brand, which I think I've seen at TJ Maxx, Ross, stuff like that. This is a size medium, but there are these cute, like, little lightweight joggers. Does anybody know about this westbound coat that smells like smoke? Has anybody heard of that? Let me know. All right, we got a Forever 21, new with tags, little velvet, like a crushed velvet little shift dress doesn't have the price on it but it's a size small so that is something I will take to Buffalo or Plato's sorry I feel like the hiccups are coming on all right we got a I was gonna say it felt like a silk piece but it's definitely not I feel like this is like an older forever 21 tag size medium this one size leopard top style <laughs> not my style all right what is this this feels nice Ugh. feels nice it's shein just this basic little camisole nope not gonna give it the time of day we have another sweater kind of this like oat type of um color mock neck a little boxy cropped this is loft petites. Oh gosh, that's a super small size. That's an extra, extra small petite. That is a particular person you're looking for. Um, but it does look like it's an oversized sweater. Ooh, that's gonna sit forever. I think I'm gonna send that off to the buy sell trade store, even though it's really cute. If it was a bigger size, I would keep it for my store, but that size in particular is just, it's gonna sit forever. I know just historically with pieces that I've picked up in that size, it sits forever. All right, we have a new day, just Target, size large. This is really great flannel plaid piece. What do I wanna do with that? I might sell it myself just because it's the season for that. All right, so we're about a third of the way through. What is this? Exhilaration Target, size medium, just kind of this like open front kimono, like sheer kimono. Will not be keeping that. What is this? Feels kind of, okay. So funny enough, I actually just, um, not sold I just listed a requirements skirt kind of looked very Chanel-y had like tweed had like a little gross green ribbon um, on the waist so I'm not opposed to picking up this brand this is a size 8 kind of this like midi skirt 
this maroon burgundy mini skirt. So I actually might sell that myself. What's this? Harvey Bernard. I know I've seen this brand. I think it was um like an older, I don't want to say like an older designer, but somewhat more expensive retail type of brand. This is a 10 petite. Kind of looks like it's now, it's definitely not new without tags, but it does have a little barb there. But it's kind of this brown little um, A-line skirt. That's actually not bad. I might I might sell that myself. Buffalo Exchange might like that too, now that I'm thinking about it. All right, it feels like a plus-size piece. What is this? Kathy Lee Women. Kathy Lee Women. What is that? Like QVC brand, I think. It is a linen brand or linen uh, material don't know what the size is but it's definitely it's definitely plus size but I mean it is cute like little linen jogger pants or not joggers but like little cropped pants they're cute just don't think that's something that I want to resell oh they're size 22 24 again great size this another New York and company little satin polka dot blouse size small this feels like it's been worn the limited again another like archaic brand <laughs> the limited size two I think does the limited own express are they under the same parent company? I do remember when I was younger, like the cool thing to do was go to the limited two, which was for younger girls. Um, I always remember doing my back to school shopping there. It's a cute little sweater though, kind of like Kalamek ribbed sweater, size small. Okay, got Jones, New York. The chino size four, nice like olive green, like little chino pants. Hmm. I think they're really cute. What am I gonna do with them? I might sell them myself. Again, sometimes like it's a mixture of brands that I like, but also the style of things. And I feel like that style uh, would do really well. What is this? This feels like a fleece blanket. Oh, it's a wrap. <laughs> the Vermont Country Store. Actually, funny enough, I have like a little nap dress that I just listed from the Vermont Country Store. Um, but I don't think I want to list this. But this is like kind of a cute little like wrap with pockets. Okay, we're about halfway through. Have to say, not super excited with everything. <laughs> Forever 21, a little kind of gauzy cropped plaid button up. This feels like it's been super worn. Blue Heaven. Is that like an old Pakistan or Zoomies or Tillies or Delia's kind of thing? Just this like cow neck black tunic dress almost. Nope. What is this red congent? Oh, H&M divided H&M. These are kind of like teal corduroys, size eight. Those will be sent off. This feels cheap. Simply Vera Wang. This is Kohl's, size extra small. Kind of this really I mean, it is a pretty color. Wine, like burgundy little blouse. It just feels kind of cheap. We have another Aaliyah. Um, chunky knit sweater. This one's cute. Kind of that like asymmetrical. Oh, these were like super popular on Pinterest, right? Kind of that like crisscross looking 
looking deal. Not cool enough for me to list it, but I do remember those being pretty popular. This is time and true. This is Walmart size small. This is actually really cute. Kind of like a retro looking sweater. Little balloon sleeves. Um, Moon and Madison. I feel like that name sounds familiar. Extra small. Again, another little chunky knit open front cardigan. Balloon sleeves. I might. I'm going to look that up myself to see what it is. We have Old Navy kind of teal sweater size medium got some jeans levi's oh these levi's look like they've seen better days what are they the 711 skinnies size 27 kind of that like gray blue color i mean the thighs don't feel like pilly at all they just feel thin like, let me look it up in the light. Yeah, they just they just feel thin overall. Interesting. Okay. Now, if that was like a wedgie style or rib cage style, definitely would have kept it, but it doesn't seem like that's super popular. Blue Spice. I remember this was oh my gosh, what was the other store? It was kind of like a Charlotte Russe. Rue 21, no, that still exists. So that's kind of, but it was kind of like a Rue 21 as well. I forget what it was called, but I remember like being a young kid or a young girl and just wanting to go in there because they kind of had like more of the club wear. Like it was, it was Forever 21 before Forever 21 was Forever 21. If you think you know what it is, <laughs> let me know down below. I can't. But the brand is Blue Spice, size 11. 11 is junior sizing. These are very, looking very acid, stone washed type of jeans. Ooh, okay. No tags. <laughs> Zara. So this is something I would definitely pick up at the thrift store. This is Zara uh, relaxed fit like denim shirt. Kind of pop over. Called a pop over because it does not button all the way down. But this is new with tags. Um, so I will definitely list that myself. We got some Fashion Nova, not a brand I typically pick up, but there are some times that I have picked up and it has actually sold pretty well. Um, so Fashion Nova jeans, kind of black jeans with like this yellow and white tuxedo stripe. These look like they've seen much better days, especially with like the wear on them. These are, this is an example of, I'm just gonna re-donate. Just gonna re-donate that. Okay, sneak peek. How do I know that? I feel like it's not a Revolve brand, is it? Maybe it might be like a Stitch Fix brand. I can't remember. Sneak peek, size 11. They're kind of these like khaki green distressed skinny jeans. I will look those up to see if they're worth anything. Okay, we're getting to like the bottom third. All right, I see some page jeans, but do they have do they have puckering? Uh, they do have some puckering, which is super common of page. So page jeans, size 20, oh, 24, that's so tiny. Okay, so page jeans do uh, a lot of times will have this like puckering in the thigh. I think it's just the material that they're made out of. They're like super duper stretchy. Um, these are the Hoxton Ultra Skinny Jeans. So not something that i absolutely love just some puckering over here so the thing with the puckering is that it's not pleasant to look at when it's not on the body but you cannot see it when you wear it um because you're gonna fill it in so i'm gonna sell these or i'm gonna send these to the buy sell trade store because i don't really want to deal with that you know what i mean oh good american these are good okay good american Thank goodness. Okay, good American size 1432. These are a black pair of skinny jeans. Everybody get rid of their skinny jeans. Um, usually they have a 
style name on them doesn't have the style name but it has the style number on here so I'll just look it up and um see what they are but that's okay that's exciting Whew. Whew. so maybe the good stuff's on the bottom let's hope all right we have another turtleneck Calvin Klein jeans size medium I feel like this is something you would pick up at TJ Maxx it's a very cute sweater though oh gray sweater with the button up little um ribbed collar on it not something I want to sell though what is this it's a very vibrant bread is this she no J. Crew. okay so here's another little indication of factory with those two little dots size medium this is actually really cute it's like a little red it's coming off orange it is kind of orange like a red orange little shirt dress I will sell that myself not something that I probably would pick up in the thrift store, but you know, it's here. I'll sell it. Ooh, okay. We got some anthropology. This is just by anthropology. Um, so it's one of their house brands. Look how cute this dress is. Oh, that's adorable. That's an adorable dress. What size is this? It is a U.S six petite that is cute like a little baby doll dress and it has this like texture to it oh that's so cute okay that i'm gonna list myself we have love 21 which is i believe an old tag of forever 21 size large again just kind of this like sheer blouse Sag Harbor. <laughs> Not exactly the good stuff I was looking for. So Sag Harbor size 10, but these are kind of just really nice, um, just basic work pants with kind of that like crease on them. These actually like would be something I would wear, um, but they're too small. Okay, no, I don't want to sell those. What is this? Love, Peace, and Lazy Days, size extra large. It's kind of cute, little cropped graphic t-shirt, nature lover. So it has like the mountains and sunset, cute little daisies on the back. So I'm gonna put that in my pile to look up. <coughs> what is this? Some loft, size 14, little like linen shorts, kind of have that like, nautical sailor buttoning on them buy some trade store actually i might i might sell those myself time and true we have this is just walmart it's very cute like little bubblegum pink flutter sleeves with that little knot detail i'm not a pink like a really vibrant pink lover or else i might keep that if it was black or white or gray or navy or any non super vibrant color I might keep it um these are forever 21 size medium these are like a crushed velvet little jogger pants this is actually really cute for the season I sell trade store okay we have about like five or six items left and I don't think it's looking good okay this is an old old navy tag size medium open front little cardigan that looks like it probably was shrunk yeah you know I'll, I'll try it at the buy sell trade store sometimes yeah I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna make a comment about some of the stuff they take uh beach lunch lounge this is something that is sold at it was sold at Nordstrom's rack now I think it's sold at Walmart it's a size large, just kind of this white uh, pop, is it a popover? No, it's a button front. I think I used to have one of these. What's this? Okay, loft, size small, kind of like a spring style crochet knit sweater with a little lace up on it. Not looking good, y'all. What is this? Valerie Bertinelli. 
it's, it's another Kmart brand. Size six, kind of this like Sherbert style skirt. Very dated in my opinion. Uh, what is this? Daily Ritual. Isn't this? Is this like an Amazon brand or something? Kind of this gray space dye, little high-low tunic top. I'm pretty sure Daily Ritual is Amazon or I don't know something something not that great. All right, we got something with beads. This is International Concepts, which is like a Macy's brand. It's so cute for the season. That's pretty cute. It's not something that I think I want to resell, but it is cute with the little gems on it. Kind of feels like a St. John Santana knit, if you know. If you know, you know. What do I want to do with this? Maybe I might resell it. I might resell it. All right, we have one last thing, and it is a sparkly dress, and it is sequin hearts. Sequin heart size small, kind of like a little homecoming dress. It's cute. Don't get me wrong. It's cute. Just not what I wanted. Um, okay. That is it. I'm keeping two pieces for myself if they fit. And they are both black turtlenecks. If that tells you anything. Um, I kept maybe a fourth to either look up or list myself. So if I look it up and realize that they suck, it will be sent off to buy, sell, trade stores. And then three fourths of it is being sent off to buy, sell, trade stores. And if it does not work there, they will be sent back to ThreadUp to be resold, um, hopefully. So can I say I recommend this? Not really, but you know, it's it, it's really a gamble. That's the whole point of this is it is a gamble of what you're going to get. I like the shoe boxes a lot better, um, but the clothing boxes are more fiscally responsible per item. So like I said, it was 50 pounds. So it breaks down to about like 235 pounds. And I just kind of roughly say 50 items each. So 235 each. Um, do I think I'll make my $117 back? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I will, especially with that, like, anthropology dress, the good American jeans. What else did I throw over there? Just some other, like, bread and butter stuff. I think I'll make it back, but I don't think I'll make, like, too much profit. And so it's like, did I just create more work for myself or what? Probably. Yes, that's exactly what I did. Just creating more work for myself. Um, so I'm going to package all this stuff back up. Hopefully I will get off to the buy, sell, trade store. Maybe I'll update you and tell you what everything was like. <laughs> yeah, not super happy with the box, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, if you're ever interested in purchasing thread up boxes um, and you're new new to the website you I think I have a code down below to get you some money off or free shipping or some shit like that um did my makeup today I have not done my makeup in like weeks I'm off of work these next two weeks or these past two weeks I should say so I haven't like done my makeup at all but I actually I like it so with my shot my stash item so I'll link that up in the corner for you it is the um Anastasia Beverly Hills fall palette it wasn't what I was expecting but I think I like it it just wasn't what I was expecting so anyways if you like anything beauty reselling related please consider subscribing because that is what I like to talk about on this channel and with that I will see you in my next video